Good morning guys. It is day four and it is our first clinic day and now we're going to be going down for breakfast. It's currently 6.56 and breakfast starts at 7. Right now it's not super hot yet but I'm sure it will be. Sarah got Belizean chocolate and we're going to be trying the authentic chocolate. I think it's 72% dark chocolate which is super Yummy. I love any kind of chocolate, so I'm sure it'll be good. Uh, Johnny um, came with some fresh pineapple and fresh you can find juice. Like, like, you know, it's it's a breakfast like for the day. Uh -huh. What did Sarah get? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing yes. and an egg yeah. for some protein. But it's back from the clinic. Grace Leche's cake. Let me show you guys a little bit more up close. There we go. The clinic today was really good. I'll tell you more about it later, but we're gonna take this first bite together. That's really good. So the Tres Leches was $4.50 US with the coffee. For dinner, this is provided by the host that's doing it. It's called ISL. Let me show you. It looks amazing. Some rice that looks spicy. Hopefully chicken breast because I don't like dark meat. Salad and pineapple juice. Yeah, it's this yellow seasoned rice. It might have turmeric or something like that in there. Here's an up close shot. And the chicken. We're trying to find. Wandering around the streets of Belize at night. But we are with a group, so do not worry. There's yeah, one, don't two, worry. three, four, five, you six, who's seven. This a month later. There's seven of us together. They're trying to find a market to go to the store or something, and they want to get, I think, soda and. Sarah and I are just kind of here for the snacks, to be honest. We love ourselves some Belizean snacks. <laughs> some of us more than others. <laughs> See what we find? It's really not that late. It's 6.46, but it looks like it's 9 o'clock at night. We found the store. It's a little Coca-Cola sign. This is how and we're we getting... Dying. We are not dying today. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Oh, Sarah, the milk. we got to try Belizean milk. Okay. A little market Got some bread for breakfast. I'm not really sure what kind it is. Had breakfast and it was French toast. It was not French toast. That is not correct. We had something similar to a Johnny cake, and the best way to describe it is sort of like a scone, but it wasn't as crumbly. It was sort of softer. And I think there is cinnamon and maybe some nutmeg. I couldn't really pinpoint exactly what spice it was, but it was a warmer one. And it was very nice. I really enjoy any type of bread. And those breads are no exception. Today we're going to be going to another clinic. It'll be about 45 minutes away in a town called La Gracia. I didn't really explain much to the clinic yesterday, so I think I'll do a bigger recap later tonight once we get done with the second day. Breakfast was free. They provide us with all the breakfast every day, and that's included with the international fees that we pay. Then they'll give us lunch. We'll go to clinic from 9 to 12, right for 12 to 1 for lunch, and then 1 to to three to maybe 3.30, depending on how many patients we see for clinic. We'll wrap up, go back here and eat dinner, and then we kind of have the rest of the night free, so I'm not really sure what we'll end up doing, but hopefully something fun, a little adventure. How many shots here?
minutes, we are in the town of La Gracia. We really haven't seen much civilization around here. There's been a few houses and huts here and there, but mostly cows and farmland and jungle. We just finished day two of clinics and oh my goodness, today I think was the hottest day, at least for me personally, very eventful day. I'll have to talk more about it later. About an hour and 10 minute bus ride and the roads aren't paved either. Most of the roads are back roads, so it's a super bumpy ride. I saw about 50 patients today and in the community there's a total of around 300, which equates to about a sixth of the community, which is crazy because it looks really I would never expect there to be over 300 people here. Hi guys, back from clinic and finally after that long ride, it is done and we can relax a little bit. Clinic was so good. Let me just talk to you guys about the past couple days. So yesterday was uh, the first day of clinic, so I've never done it before and oh my goodness, I just didn't realize how fortunate we are. I know I've said that a lot, but it's so true. I gave this little boy a coloring book and some crayons and his whole face lit up and that was really, really touching to just see that because you don't think about the little things, how much they mean to people. I also saw just some basic diagnoses. I am really surprised at the fact that most people have either been treated for parasites or worms recently. So that's an ongoing problem, especially in the more rural communities, but it's very, very typical here in Belize. Yesterday I did intake for the first half of the day, so that meant taking blood pressure, height and weight, and calculating their BMI, and then sending them back into the clinic area. And then today was more of the patient interaction. There's also a pharmacy spot that I haven't been to yet. I know I'm kind of losing my voice because it's been a long day. Lots of people are out here. But also the doctors are phenomenal here. They know exactly what their diagnosis is. By the time they get there and you say a couple things, they're like, oh, yep, know their diagnosis, which is incredible. I definitely want to be like that and just know what's going on within the first few seconds of getting to talk to them. Saw a couple kids today and did some more blood pressures and they're all manual, so good practice with that. I know the dogs are crazy right now. Talked to some people sort of our age, in their 20s. There's a lot of younger people that come too. It's a good mix between kids, young adults, older adults, and then one person needed glasses. So we handed out glasses and other people needed eye exams and that's not really something, we don't have an eye doctor there, so, but we did have a couple glasses we were able to give out and just giving the person glasses they're able to see and it makes their life so much easier and much improved because in America we can just get glasses or a new prescription anytime, but for them, they go years seeing blurry objects and they think, you know, that's normal and then they get their glasses and their whole world has changed. Today was the really, really rural community where they didn't have any running water. So that was very, very different from yesterday. We're gonna go out to dinner at a place called Lola's. I ordered, what did I order? Sopa de Lima. It's called Soup of Lime. So I'm very excited to try it. I know it's kind of hot out to be ordering soup, but I figured it might be something on the healthier side because I've been eating a lot of fried food. <laughs> Pudding. And I think there's craisins or cranberries on top. Sarah's going with raisins. Let's see, if, if these do not look like raisins. Comment down below if these are raisins or cranberries. Settle the debate right now, even though by the time you're seeing this, this will probably be three weeks post Belize. But just let us know. 